So in this video, we're going to check out Coin Junkie giving us a 5,000 game Raspberry Pi Zero image. 5,343 games. Raspberry Pi Zero, so a little $5 single board computer. By the time you get the 16 gigabyte SD card that's required for this image and you get a controller, um, you know, yeah, you're around 20 or $30, um, especially if you go cheap. But um, that's pretty cheap gaming, and that's why I want to do this video, which is show you what are some, what is one of the best images out there right now that's easily available. And if you have a Raspberry Pi Zero hanging around to slap on there, um, if you also have Raspberry Pi hanging around Zero hanging around, those are often used for portable devices as well. But now we have some portable devices that are holding Raspberry Pi Three A's and Three uh, B's and B plus. So. Um, the game's kind of changing on that front, but historically speaking, that's what this little single board computer was used for. So let's go ahead and check out an image that if you want to put it on one, you have one around, or you want to tinker with one, this could be a good choice for you. All right. So here we are on the image, and this is the Raspberry Pi zero it does not have that much ram it has less than a gigabyte and so you're not going to have a super you know it's it's this is the cheap 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 this is cheap emulation gaming is what this is um but what i did for this video is i may have even seen this image before it's not ringing a bell though but i wanted to find what's a raspberry pi zero image that's out in the wild that could is easily read, readily available that's fairly new um, this one's a, over a year old but not a lot of people put a lot of love into this thing and for five dollars although it's kind of misleading you still need to get you know a controller a power adapter all this other stuff but honestly if you have an hdmi you could you know you're talking really cheap gaming here like under twenty dollars no problem um and it can run all these systems you're seeing here. Um, a couple house cleaning items when you get started is, so evidently this system was, uh, this is by Coin Junkie, the name of the image. It is a 16 gigabyte image. Oh, that's another thing you would need to buy is a micro SD card, but they're super cheap now. Um, it's exactly 13.9 gigabytes. The file is 14, pretty much 15 uh, billion bytes. I have it on a 32 gigabyte SD card, so I can add more games to it if I wanted to. Um, this is for his a, a, a local band of his called As We Suffer, and uh, I'll check out their music some more, but um, that was the theme behind it. Um, something I do like is it's already shrunk, so it will fit most 16 gigabyte SD cards, so you might not even have to buy one, you might have one lying around. And then um, there's uh, some themes added to it, uh, it has um, some sort of optimization done to the Neo Geo and SNES, I'll have to check that out. It does have the bezel project installed as well. I don't know if it's on, we'll find out shortly. It is rocking over 5,300 games. And then there's background music on, but I turned it off. You just wanna go down to RetroPie and toggle background music. I just turned it off because A, I don't wanna get copyright strike on this video, and then B, if you do play Neo Geo games, I guess the way the scripts are set up, the background music will not prompt to stop. So you'll be playing a Neo Geo game, you might be playing Metal Slug, and then the music's still playing, so that's a little issue. Um, but it does have the bezel project up here, and then it also has Easy Hacks Toolkit on here, which are some really easy to do scripts, um, which could help you out a lot, especially with the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero being that it's really hard to get more than one input because of the lack of uh, USB uh, slots. Okay, so PlayStation 4 games, and yes, the PlayStation does run on this little computer. Uh, TurboGrafx-1695, uh, Nintendo 792, Neo Geo 128, Sega Genesis 687, Sega Master System 278, Game Boy Color 535, Game Boy Advance 141, Game Boy 565, Game Gear 248, Arcade, 76 arcade games, that's kind of cool. And uh, no video snaps, they're not going to run very well anyways. Coleco 175, Atari Lynx Portable 76, 7800, 54, 2600, Atari 647. Um, we could check out his favorites. In a, let's go ahead and do uh, his favorite. What are his favorite games? Okay, cool. Arizong. Asteroids. Let's play something um, that's going to... Oh, this is a great game right here. Um, and I, like I said, I really... You know, this is all about budget, this whole build. I would not play this. I would not have this in my house anywhere, but I would happily give this as a gift. Or if I was like a college student again, or I was on like a really small allowance, um, I would definitely give the Raspberry Pi Zero a, a try. 
um, because it, it works. Um, now, the thing is, though, you can shop around, right? You can get a... Um, you can get a, um, like a, um, what's out there right now? Oh, I do not have my, I don't have my start button bound correctly. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good now. We're good. Um, you can get like back when the PS Classic was like 1999 at a certain point. And so, well, I messed that up. I was trying to change guns. Um, you could get the PS Classic, and as far as you know, what the PS Classic is packing, as far as I meant to jump, don't have my controls right yet. So my controls were not. I did not. I messed up somewhere. That was my fault. Um, input, yes. And I am running the Xbox 360 controller. But as I was saying, there are some deals out there for these new mini systems some of which didn't do as well as others, as you saw with the PS Classic. And, you know, like the Sega Mini, Nintendo hit it out of the park. Can't get those for that cheap. But, you know, and then there's also like those Hyperkin type devices, a lot of clone devices. So, you know, you, you have to, when I think about if I, you know, if money is an object, what is the best bang for your dollar? And, um, but then, so then that's what I think about, you know, is PS Classic, uh, Mini Genesis, and some of these other mini systems. However, um, what about, then you got to think about portability. And um, the cool thing about the Raspberry Pi Zero is you got a lot of really little handhelds you can throw these into. And so now how cool would it be that you have a handheld version of this? Um, that's really cool. So the size... Um, power input, like how much power it requires to run. All these little small single board computers don't take any power whatsoever. Let's try Top Hunter. But um, if you're not that picky, these are going to run just fine. Super Nintendo, Nintendo, all those portables. PlayStation, he put three games on here. It was probably on purpose because... It's going to struggle a little bit more for that. The, being so limited on RAM is really going to affect the the actual UI. You know, when you saw that on the... Um, Okay, figured it out. This guy's about to charge me. Oh, these guys are bad. I thought those were like the good guys in uh, Metal Slug. Okay, I got a spin jump. Okay, that's cool. You can go... Oh. You can interact with the whole thing. Whoa! What the heck is up here? Let's jump down there. Pull. Whoa! Look at this guy go. Nice. Okay, I can see the Raiden project running. That makes sense. So the bezel project is on by default. It's playable. 
I can see why it's on this image, but it really starts to show you why you might want something a little more powerful. Especially now that they have the Raspberry Pi, what is it, the 3A Plus, which has a form factor almost, you know, it's a little different size than this one, but the form factor is really nice. Um, but you're gonna get the, um, the benefit of the faster processor and more RAM, I believe. 512 megabytes of RAM is not much. Also, I think that one has different inputs as well as far as controllers and things. Oh, got the wrong one. Back to blue. Oh, I'm probably gonna die here. Too many, too many airplanes. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That was pretty epic. Oh, okay. Well, okay. And then we can jump out of there. And it just takes a while to get in and out of games, but you know, it works. So there you have it. Like I said, Sega Genesis runs great. You got Master System, you got all the Game Boys, you got Game Gear, you got um, a lot of those other Atari systems, you got Super Nintendo, the whole Super Nintendo catalog is going to run just fine. So it's a great little image. Don't let me get you wrong. I just wanted to show you the limitations of it and why a lot of people don't go for the zero. But like I said, when it comes to price and portability, there are not many and value. Um, you know, there's really not a lot of other contenders. And then there's people that have made images like this. So there are options for you out there. Um, so with all that said, I give this uh, for a Raspberry Pi zero image an A. Uh, you know, I think there could be some improvement as far as, you know, maybe get rid of the PlayStation games. Um, but yeah, A, I mean, yeah, it would just it would just be a matter of just kind of shifting some things around. I mean, it was correctly Pi shrunk, correctly controller set up, correctly uh, the base image is correct, um, good good uh, whole catalogs. Well, some of the catalogs are limited. So besides game selection, you know, there's not much more you can do with the Raspberry Pi Zero. The other thing is I could overclock this. The Raspberry Pi Zero can be overclocked. I have done it before and I have seen better improvements. So anyways, with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.